Okay, so I'm back with another operating system on the Pi, and this time it is called Q40OS. And um, I had just seen this on the internet, and I downloaded it, and like this is my first time trying it out, so I don't really know what it is. So this is this is the welcome screen. So it looks like there's some interesting stuff here. So there's a software center it looks like and let's let's just go and look and see what's in the software center first. So we have we do have GIMP. We have Blender which is like a 3D app designer thing which is nice. We have Chromium. A lot of these are already installed. So let's just go and look. So we have a start menu and we have um Oh, that opens the file explorer. So we have web browser, control panel, run command. So it kind of has a windowsy look, but but it it looks older, definitely. So we uh we do have Chromium web browser. So let's go ahead and just open that up. Um we can do some web browsing. So this operating system looks kind of like a light, more lightweight operating system. So I'm pretty sure that it's going to run well in the Pi. I mean, it's nice. And I think that I read that this was based on Raspberry Pi OS. So it should be able to run all the apps. I will test that out soon. After I um, test out some YouTube, I'll test out and see if all the apps do work. Oops, I spelled it wrong. So, YouTube is looking pretty nice. Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah, so that's enough of that. Um, like, let's see what type of stuff they have here. So if we go configure desktop, what's it going to do? So, what did that do? Let's see. So that um, gave me a Q40 OS logo. And, yeah, it's nice. So we do have VLC already installed. So that is definitely nice. And if you go to my computer, it will open up the file explorer for you. And why I say it's lightweight and the performance should be well, when you're dragging the windows... It looks like this, so it's not going to get stuck or anything like KDE or whatever. My documents. There's nothing in there. We have LibreOffice. Yeah, we have all of the LibreOffice apps are inside of here. And then Control Alt T should open up a terminal for me, but it didn't. <laughs> so let's just search it. Terminal and so it does use apt this OS because I'm pretty sure. See, it's going to RaspberryPi.org. That's why I think that it is. Raspberry Pi OS to test that out. Um, I'm gonna 
install like I want to test out PyKiss. I want to um, test out some other apps that only work on Raspberry Pi OS to see if it actually is Raspberry Pi OS. So PyKiss, I've reviewed it a lot in my videos. It's an amazing app, and the developer has done an amazing job on it. And you can install tons of games, apps, and stuff with one click. So that's amazing. Just copy the install. Copy. Now let's just let that install. It doesn't take long to install anyway. Okay, so it should be done. Let's see if it does work. So if I search Pycus, it shows up. That's good. And let's see if I can install stuff. So let's go to games, revolt. It looks like it's working. So that's good that you can run PyKiss on this OS is very nice. Because a lot of OSs you try to run PyKiss and then some stuff installs, some don't. So that's kind of annoying. But Revolt doesn't seem to show up when I search it, but... I think if I did a reboot, it should show up. Another thing I want to test out is Chromium Media Edition. Because that is a great way where you can watch Netflix and Hulu, Spotify, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. All of those um, apps you can't run from the normal Chromium. But with this Chromium Media Edition, you can run them on on with a special chromium version so you just paste that command oh so it's downloading it for me now and it says please reboot reboot your pi and enjoy so i'll do a quick reboot and then we'll test it out okay so i did a reboot and um chromium media edition did show up when i searched it See Chromium Media Edition. So I opened it up and I logged into Netflix. And so now I'll just show that it does work. Just open up this one. So I can make it full screen. Yeah, so Netflix does play on this operating system. That's um, very nice and awesome. And, I mean, Disney Plus will play. Hulu or um, whatever streaming service you use should run on this with this browser. So that's good. And then... So Revolt still isn't showing up. I'm not sure why. So there must be some bug, a little bug with um, PyKiss on this operating system. But it's not a huge problem. So you can install like Gparted or whatever. I always, I forget to say install. Yeah, so basically this video was just showing you guys this operating system and um, just giving you an idea of what it is. And I hope you guys like this um, video. I mean, I don't, I'm not really going to use this as an operating system on my Pi because I just don't really care for it that much. And I would just use normal Raspberry Pi OS instead. But if you guys want to, you can use it. I mean, 
we saw a preference. So, thanks for watching this video. Please hit that like button and please subscribe.